This was actually one of my favorites, and it was a crowd favorite. Uh, yeah. the- you know what was amazing? <laughs> you got applause after all of these, but this is so, the moment. That's I, 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 will say, I, will, I will admit, I, I built this one as somebody who wanted this. This scenario for me is not uncommon. I use docs for note taking. And I'll go into a meeting and yeah, there's great tools and there's ways to actually sync that up better. And I know they exist, but imagine me being prepared. Uh, and so I, I'm littered with a title document. So I built this as my own self-defense mechanism. I've had more positive feedback and more give me this code for this than I ever, ever expected. And when the applause broke out, I was like, oh, 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 oh I'm not the only one. Thank goodness it's not this good. Thank goodness it's not just me. So let me show you what it does and we'll talk about it in a little second. So if you want to uh, pivot here, one of the things we're doing is trying to show you each app in action. So we're, we're obviously over in Drive. And so when you create your Drive files and you don't name them, like we talked about, wouldn't it be nice to actually get some help with this? Now you know you can go into the doc separately. You can pop a doc open here and say, you know, what's this document about? I can show you the document. I can read the document. I can change the document. This one's about a dog named Spot. Not that interesting. Um, let's find a better one. This one is about, let's do a big one. This one is about, click here. Okay, this one is, can you pass an entire Google Doc? Yeah, blah, 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 and it's so long. Of course I can click on this and I can make it come to the top and I can do that. But that just takes the first sentence. That's not helpful unless the first sentence is a perfect summary. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna unname that, or I can, I can leave that name by the way. Um, let's go back, and I got this long document button. Let's go back and rename it better. And again, this is a live demo, so I shouldn't have renamed that. Then I'll take a second here. Let's just refresh it. Let's just do it. Bingo, refresh. And you'll see now it's actually named. Doesn't matter. It's not looking for that parameter. We pull it up, and it's going to come up when I click on this. And again, notice, because it's an add-on, it needs to get the context in the add-on of the file to, to get the most minimal permissions to get the context of what's in the file, we literally take the body of this document, send the entire body. We can obviously cap that at a certain token limit. In this case, we're sending the entire body back. It comes back with a summary and three really good names. And so what I can do is simply come down here and I can accept. Again, this is actually even better than the default one. Or I can take a different one and say, you know what? I'm using Gemini with AI, rename it right there. If I don't like any of those names, I built a little refresh button in, and you can see how fast that works. Uh, there's other use cases which are neat, and I love this one. Say, for example, the document isn't worthy. There's the spot one again. Got one over here that's a little shorter, I believe. Let me make sure I get it right. And you can see it's actually pretty fast and pretty responsive, mm-hmm. and these are good names coming back. But what if I find one <laughs> that I'd like, you want this document? <laughs> And the answer is no, right? So I built this document. I didn't really do anything with it. I didn't plant a garden and nothing grew. Uh, so. <laughs> and so I can, without opening the file, reading the file, understanding the file, say, and she gone. And there she goes. Yeah, that's one of my favorite features. I have so many empty documents by accident. Yeah. Right? So it's a great site line. The great idea is gave me. There's so many favorite features. So many people ask for this. Do not be surprised, and this is not a hint, but do not be surprised when features like this and the custom function, mm. and even the rate my slides, end up in Gemini for work still, right? Mm-hmm. We're creating things, it's evolving, people are finding things they like. We're actually you know, trying to understand this better. You will see more and more use cases that when you build a solution, it may actually get <clears throat> replaced or superseded, um, <laughs> which is a which is a true thing, right? So don't not develop something, but definitely do follow the path of Gemini and see how it's doing.